Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Chaos, where I play games and, well, the games play. Um. Everywhere. If it's Bernard, that would be a great person to die. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it that way. But I'm saying, like, because he has so many enemies who could actually go out to kill him. He fired two people. He has a love interest, Linda. The guests don't really like him. I mean, I guess they don't really know him. But his brother don't like him. He has so many... Don't Mr. touch the bodies. Mr. Cruz. <gasps> That's old girl's husband. Marcella's husband, bro. The one who's Mr. the Arthur. Cruz. Arthur. Arthur? Oh, wow. God. Oh, God. What happened? That's a good person, too, because they have enemies. A stalker, the wife, and the girlfriend that the wife's having an affair with. Oh, Lord. Mr. Cruz's life insurance policy. Why did he have this on him? Marcella. Marcella's a beneficiary, bro. Marcella, Marcella, Marcella. Is this about Paul? Does that mean? What? Thank you for reporting that guest's unacceptable behavior. We will look into it as soon as possible. However, I regret to inform you that we cannot divulge a guest's personal information regardless of that guest's behavior. As I'm sure you understand, we are very concerned with our guest's privacy and our staff prides itself on his discretion. Please contact us should that guest bother you again. So someone is bothering them. And Bernard is the one who said, yeah, be quiet. Um, can we tell somebody? Health insurance, Bernard's letter to Hector. Hector, Hector. What on earth happened? I was on the fifth floor and I heard the elevator door ring repeatedly, so I went to check it out. I found Hector's body between the elevator doors lying in a pool of blood. I checked his pulse and couldn't feel anything. Two pieces of paper was on his body that we've already read. I'm guessing he crawled to try to get help. Oh, MG, the game starts now. Let's see what she let there be someone around who can help. But I didn't do it. Oh, the murderer might come after me. I have to get the power back on. It's in this room. Y'all, I just, I feel a draft on my face. Is that from the, am I tripping? What's that doing? I don't want to know what I'm here. Screwdriver. Yes, I'm happy we kept that. It's too big. I guess I'll need something pointy. Got you. I already got you. I don't think there's anything here that would what? help me. Pointy? Bro, what? Think, Sophie. Think. What can you use to open the fuse box? A key, maybe? Maybe an ice pick could pry open the fuse box. Where are we getting an ice pick? We can't even go. Ice pick. Um, did that guest have an ice pick? Cruz. Marcella, your husband's dead. <laughs> this is the guy who died. Marcella. Oh, Lord. If they had fingerprints back in the day, they'll think we did it. We all see this mud. But maybe I'm tripping. 
if this was like nowadays and she was snooping everywhere, they would think she a prime suspect because her fingerprints are on everybody's stuff. An ice pick. <sighs> the elevator won't work until I get the power back on. Where am I getting an ice pick then, dingy? Alright, where did he come from? I don't want to go to where the murderer's at. She said maybe an ice pick. Out of all the tools, that's not the first thing you're thinking is an ice pick. That was such a game thing, because maybe it's back in the day. I just don't use ice picks. I never used them before, so I, you know. Okay. She gone. This looks like something I can use to open the fuse box. Oh, she dumb. I w oh, she can't call nobody. She got <laughs> an ice pick from the murder scene. Feel like, why do you have the murder weapon, ma'am? She's going to be like, well, you see, I have to turn the light back on. In order to do that, I needed an ice pick. They're gonna be like, bro, you're dumb. <laughs> you're dumb because that there's no way. Oh. Mm, it's too big. I get that worked, thank God. Now to get the power back. Eugene. What I would give to have you with me right now. See? If he if we didn't fire him. Have to make do. If there's a power outage and I'm busy presenting another part of this hotel from collapsing, here's what to do. Preventing. Check fuse box plan for required yeah, amps or whatever for each socket. Remember, remove all blown fuses from sockets. Tip. Blown fuses are usually black. Screw in the fuses and sockets. Make sure amperage is correct. Then big lever to restore. Okay, we got that. Remove fuse. How does Eugene do this again? Fuses. I probably need new fuses. Where are we gonna find that at? Yes, this is what I need. How did this end up here? Safe combinations. How did that end up here? What the freak? That's weird. Are they all blacking? Yeah. Okay, thirty is G. And 20 is S. Boom. We got our power back. Where's our murderer? In the hotel. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. Power's back. Now I should go down to the lobby. Call the police. Well, watch that body be gone. Cause I don't hear the elevator dinging. Oh, Is there anything I've forgotten? Once I leave this floor, I probably won't be able to come back. <laughs> we gonna have to leave, man. We gonna have to leave. What else? You know what? Let me just look around. What's this? Pearls. Camera. Stalker boy. Interesting. So we got pearls, stalker boy, like we got everybody in here. Oh, he was crawling, so he died over here. I don't want to step in his blood. Poor Paul. Lindsay's death really hit him hard. He hasn't been in the best headspace. Who the freak is Paul? We gotta look that up later. Oh, 
So Paul's work with Marcella was to follow her around like a private investigator, to help her with research for her novel. Oh, okay, so Paul's that psych dude. Why can't we open that? Oh, Okay. So Paul wasn't the bad guy, he was just a PI working with her. <gasps> I knew it. We walked in the blood, bro. Can we clean our footsteps, please? Oh, holy mackerel. We can't lie. Y'all see that, right? So we, we gotta tell him we were looking around. Yeah. Cause our footsteps are yeah, they're they're everywhere now. I had a feeling. I said, bro, I don't want to walk in there. Oh, frack. So we got all the evidence that we pretty much need. Um, Hopefully they don't think we did it. I have a feeling they do think we did that. So let's just leave, bro. I'm sorry. They even showing her veins and her arms, bro. I'm they sorry. ate. I'm so sorry. We were, no, we were going to get blood in our shoes anyway, so I don't care. She should have called. Why is she? I would have called. Oh, my gosh. This is a whole freaking TV series. What? Phone. I, I yeah, get it phone. right now before somebody see him. There's gonna be another dead body. Oh my god. Oh no, it's not. Beth, where are you when I need you? Hurry up! Because if somebody found that body and they're like, we found the body, so and then, you know, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> There's no cameras, is there? Hurry up. Montreal Police Service, station twenty two. There's a there's a man dead. He's been murdered. I I need the police. Please stay calm, ma'am. Where are you right she now? She is calm. The lobby, I only say but that. The body, it's it's upstairs. Can you give me the address, please? Oh, um, 11... 1178 Drummond Street. You don't know your job. Right, she must be there. Officers are on their way. <sighs> Thank you. This girl got a mess. <laughs> this girl got a mess. No. I just have to wait for the police. Let's see through the clues while we do that. So this is the safe combinations. This misplaced list of safe codes from the first floor taped to the inside of a fuse box. Someone spilled something on it. Okay, that's very interesting. Camera, camera with a very long lens. Not the kind of camera an everyday person would use. Obviously, that's Paul's. Pearl necklace we found on the crime scene. Paul's notebook. Was using to chronicle his time here in Montreal. The last page is stained red. So we're gonna expect it. The hotel is nice. Da -da -da. Today I wanted to follow Marcella and Hector out of the hotel, but the sidewalks are so packed with people. Um, helping Marcella out these past few weeks has been a great distraction, but it still hurts so much every time I think about him. I had hoped the pain would have gone away. Mm, who's him? To fight boredom until Marcella and Hector's return. I started looking at the hotel staff. I heard Andrew and Beth at the reception desk discussing books and movies. They both seem like nice people. Wish I found the courage to join the conversation. We look at people all day and they look, never look back. We start feeling invisible. I noticed that Sophie, the maid in charge of cleaning the fifth floor, seems to share my interest for other people's lives. Maybe I should try talking to her. <laughs> That's so cute. Maybe not really kind of weird. Um, who's thinking out of the room every night? The question has been driving me crazy since my first night at the hotel. So tonight I decided to investigate. I found a hiding spot near the ice machine with a nice view of the whole quarter. My camera's at the ready, but there's been no movement for at least three hours, and I'm fighting not to fall asleep. No need for Milton tonight. I thought being detected would be more exciting. Maybe Marcella's right. Maybe it's time I let go of Mr. Spade. Wow, so he wasn't a bad guy. I woke up around 9.30 and realized I fall asleep sometime early in the morning. I was about to go back to my room when a guest from... 507 came to sit on one of the chairs close by. She's been there ever since. And I don't dare leave my hiding spot in front of her. Marcella joined the guest from 507, which is Anne, around 945. Apparently, she told Hector she didn't love him anymore. And he's now convinced she's been cheating on him. That explains why he salted me out of the blue yesterday evening and called, accused me of having an affair with his wife. 
the guest from 507, which is Anne, has just said she might have had an idea on how to solve their problem. What? The guest from 507 Anne said she has an idea on how to solve their problem. To anger, but I don't want to anger Marcella. The longer I wait, the more awkward it will be when I do come out. Maybe I should. What the freak is going on? Marcella's letters to Paul. So this is Marcella talking to Paul. I'm sorry to hear you said a dire situation. However, you should not worry about finding work. You seem to possess a lot of useful skills. Yep, this is her hiring him. Okay. Cigarette case. Okay, on the cigarette case, it shows A, B. And somebody finish that for me? Thank you. Because I just forgot this one. Oh, hey you. Great timing, right? I'm thinking if we're lucky, Bernard will let us go home. No point in working in the dark. Sophie? Bean, you're not scared of the dark, are you? Hey, is everything okay? I found Mr. Cruz. Hector. Oh, you did? What was the bloke up to? You don't understand. He... I found his body. He's... He's dead. But... Oh, merde. Merde. Sit down, okay? You look like you're about to faint. That's what you do when you find out somebody's dead. I'm like, what? Who? Did, you know who did it? Do you see anything? Like, I'm asking questions because that's a dead body. People do not encounter dead bodies like that all the time. But she's so calm. Have you called the police? Yeah, they're they're on their way. What happened? Was there um, an accident? I guess so. No, here. I don't think so. Someone did this to him. You mean, merde. Do you think it could have been Anne and Marcella? Uh, it could have been, I'm gonna say, uh, I was gonna say, I don't wanna assume, so what I'm gonna say no. Paul? He and Hector were caught fighting. Hmm. The cops will want to talk to you. Know what you've seen. You need to be careful about what you tell them. If word of Anne and Marcella's affair gets out, they may put a label on them that will really hurt them. It might not, not even matter in the end if they did it or not. I understand. I think I know what you mean. It's easier to put the blame on people who are different from you. Even if you're wrong. I'm glad yeah. you can see that makes the world a little safer to have people like you in it. You know, I was barely 20 when I was shoved into a police car for just hanging out with people who made me feel like I wasn't so messed up after all. What? Where did that happen? At the White Cat. It's supposed to be a safe space, but it gets raided by cops every now and then. I know Anne was caught at least once too. Wait. What? You know her? Yeah. That's how I knew the answer to the riddle. I've never talked to her, but I've seen her a few times. Marcella and her? They're... They're Hold on, guys. just like me. I knew Thank it. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me with this. Maybe now you can understand why I care so much about you. I don't know if I'm feeling inspired by Anne and Marcella, or if it's the shock of being so close to an actual murder, but, um... I had a I'd really that she like for her. us to be more than just friends, Sophie. I'm recording! I already have a man. His name Andrew. I'm sorry, I, girl. I'm not sure if I feel the same way or not. Oh. Okay, yeah. I mean, you have a lot to think about already. Well, I can't pause it right now. Sorry, guys, it's my mom. The police is here. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, just looking at her and her personality. I would not think okay. Yeah. Yeah, of course. But I like Andrew. I need me a little redhead.
wow, so the game starts now. So all of that before was just a little warm-up. Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Miss Roy? Oh, sorry. I was and now we're at the distracted. <laughs> I really need you to focus right now. I don't want to be here all night, and I'm sure you don't either. No. No, I don't. So, as I was saying, we're trying to ascertain the circumstances of Mr. Cruz's death. Can you tell me how you came to find the body? I... I was cleaning room 509 when I heard the elevator bell ring. Again and again and again. I thought maybe a child was playing with the doors. So I went out in the corridor. Mm -mm. And that's when... This is a mess. That's when I saw him. They got a whole mess, bro. All the blood and... Why was the elevator bell ringing? I'm sorry. Because it's a dead body. You said you heard the elevator bell ring. Why was it ringing? I assume it wasn't a child after all. Mrs. Cruz's body, not a whole lot. Well, Mr. Cruz's body was preventing the doors from closing. Really? When we found the body, it wasn't that close to the doors. Oh, um, the stairs are blocked because of the renovations, so the elevator's the only way out of the fifth floor. I... I had no choice but to move the body. Just a little. Ah, so that explains the traces we found. Thank you for clearing that up. Ooh, don't so, you every time. what did you do after that? Well, um... That's when the power cut, so I had to go to the janitor's closet. To access the fuse box. Yeah. Exactly. Hmm. I, I changed a few fuses and turned the power back on. But there's a lock on that box, isn't there? Did you have the key? No. No, I didn't. Only Eugene does. But I thought an ice pick might do the trick, so I went to the ice machine to get one. Hmm. You're a size 7, I suppose. Um, yep. Yes, I am. Why? What did you see when you went to the ice machine? Oh, there was crap. Blood. A lot of it. Did you touch anything? Yep. I might have touched a few things. Just to figure out what had happened to Mr. Cruz. Of course you did. Why so many witnesses can't help but compromise the evidence is just beyond me. Don't let me slap you. Anyway, not well, like, what did you do after, after anyway? restoring the power? I took the elevator down to the lobby. That's where I called the police. Do you remember what you said to the operator? The exact words? I... No! No, I'm afraid I don't. You said, there's a man dead. <gasps> He's been, He's been murdered. murdered. So we assume... That's possible. What makes you so sure it was murder? Right, but then if we say we're snooping around, they're gonna ask you about the wife. We're gonna say it's an assumption because we really don't know. Even though we were snooping, we can't say he was murdered. I I just assumed. What with all the blood. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't believe that, Miss Roy. It's more than an assumption, isn't it? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. I know you like going through your guests' personal belongings. But we've found pictures of you snooping Dang around. Dang it! Oh. Forgot about that. Huh. Now, that don't mean unless you want me to arrest you for violating your guest's privacy, oh. I suggest you tell me everything you know. All right. Let's start with the victim's wife, Marcella Cruz. Apparently, she left in quite a hurry this morning. What can you tell me about her? This is a lot. said they're gonna they're gonna assume it's i don't, know I don't really know anything she just looks like a loving caring wife really that's odd because we learned a lot about mrs cruz when we went through her room and let's just say that loving caring wife are so not why are you asking me these questions we already mind. know oh? like, what the freak? she's a lesbian involved oh! in some sordid affair with the guest from room 507 mrs beaumont have you ever witnessed them engaging in immoral behavior what no. do you mean? I'm asking if you've seen them being, you know, intimate. No, I haven't. No. So why are you, you asking me these things? Did you hear them discuss their deviant ways in front of Mrs. Beaumont's son, perhaps? 
Imagine wow, what kind of effect such perversion can have on a young child. No, I didn't hear anything. Did you hear them express their hatred of men? Did they ever talk about using violence against men? Did you hear them speak ill of Mr. Cruz? Wow. If I take a stand, he don't come after me. And I already lied twice. No, I didn't hear any of that. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. No, I'm yeah. sure you are. But we're not quite done yet, Miss Roy. We've learned from one of your colleagues that the victim had a fight with a guest named Mr. Spade. What can you tell me colleagues? about Colleagues? Paul spent some time. We can't lie. Yeah, he spent some time they already in the psychiatric know the answer, hospital though. after the war. That's when he got into Mrs. Cruz's novels, and they really helped yes, him. Yes, I already know about his time in a madhouse. So we gotta tell the truth every they time. called now. the place, and they painted quite the picture of him. Because I don't know. Did what you he ever was. see him display odd behavior in or around the hotel? No. I mean, we've all got our little quirks, don't we? Did he seem obsessed with Mrs. Cruz? A little, yeah. maybe, but obsessed enough to kill her husband? No, nothing like see, that. See, why do you say maybe? We all have our obsessions. Me, for instance. He I'm got paid to do that. with celebrities and gossip magazines and- You don't seem to understand, Miss Roy. Shut Mr. Up, Spade bad, is Tom. not like you and me. He may look like us, but he's not. He's dangerous and needs to be taken off the streets. Oh, you're nasty. So tell me, Get off my did screen. you ever see him be violent or aggressive? He hates black people. I already know it. No, I? I didn't. I'm sorry, Miss Roy, but I just don't believe you. I think you know more than you've let on. Shut up. You, I, he hates black people. Can I'm so please sure of it. leave? Like, no. You can. But you'd better stay in town. I'm sure I'll have more questions for you very soon. Oh, shut up. I'm so mad, y'all. Strangely chipper on the phone. That can't be a good sign. Yeah, I've been filming this game for so many hours. Let's go see what Bernard wants. This is a lot. Um, that guy is a racist. He's he hates women. He honestly hates anybody who's not white and a male. I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. Actually, I'm not sorry to say it. I mean, literally, if you're not a man and you're not white, he don't like you. The atmosphere is so different in here. Will it ever feel like it used to? What are you supposed to be doing? Oh, front of Bernard. It'll probably be a while before the hotel reopens. Without Eugene, the lobby will be a swimming pool by the end of the month. Will the rest of the building even be standing? Oh, let's clean it with this mop. Uh uh, we working off the clock. That's crazy. area y'all how y'all feel about that that was that was intense y'all still gucci go ahead while i'm cleaning y'all can go get you a little some drink some eat this is a lot <laughs> it's a lot all right let's see bernard bro oh go to hell beth oh hey are you okay I'm out of a job, but other than that, yeah, everything's just peachy. What? Oh. No, I... I hope you're luckier than I am. Come join me when he's done with you, all right? I'll be... questioning my life choices on the mezzanine. Yeah. What's the mezzanine? Yeah, okay. Now that I think about it, she said she likes us, but she look a little old to be liking us. I'm just saying, we are 20, like 21. You look a little, a little old. Ah, Miss Roy. Come in. I suppose you know why you're here? Mm, no, is it about the I would guess it has something to do with 
The murder? Well, you'd be right about that. We've been getting a lot of press lately, and not the good kind. I wouldn't expect you to understand the position I'm in, but I assure you, it's quite uncomfortable to have one's life's work blown away like that. Oh. All thanks to some sexual deviance and a nut job. <laughs> it's obvious to me now that I haven't been firm enough. Oof. For guests of such morals to be comfortable booking a few nights here and, and, and committing such a horrid act? <sighs> no, things need to change. This means elevating our standards to the highest possible level, and it starts with the people working here. It starts with you. With me? me? Yes. Ahead, You've been it. quite the disappointment. You didn't even know my Unclean name! rooms, several complaints from guests. I may have been too busy to notice it before, but now that it's staring me right in the face, okay. I cannot continue to ignore it. Okay. You're fired. What? Okay. She does need the job, but I'm not gonna beg for it to just make You it can't fire me. Because... Because I quit. I'm not gonna beg. <laughs> sure. I fire you, you quit. It's all the same to me. Just make sure to empty your locker before the end of the month. That'll be all. I hope you're the next one, y'all. I'm sorry. I wish it was him. I, again, I don't condone murder. I, never, I, I don't. But he's literally making me... I, these men, I... Hey. Hey. I don't understand. Why do These people want to, like, let them live their own lives. <laughs> yeah. Why are y'all trying to be nosy? So, what did Bernard want with you? I'm fired. Well, <laughs> he was being kind of a jerk, so I quit. You what? I quit. I figured there was no point in staying. So, if no more leaving. Andrew? I Here appreciate the... the solidarity, but you really didn't have to do that. I think it's for the best. So if we would have called Andrew, I, it would have been Andrew instead of her. He was firing you? Ugh. Duh. He was going on and on about keeping deviants out of the hotel. So she chose <laughs> Andrew. I may have lost my cool a little. A little? I told him I was one of those deviants he was so afraid of. He froze for a moment, then showed me the door. Oh, wow. What's next so for you? So what's next for you? I think I'm done working under Bernard's or Linda's. Maybe it's time I become my own Bernard. Minus the fascism, of course. <laughs> I could see myself owning my own establishment. One that caters to the right kind of crowd. Believe it or not, I do enjoy the company of people. Just not, you know, the stuck-up, entitled clientele of this prestigious hotel. But maybe if I were behind the counter of say, a bar, instead of a reception desk. <sighs> I don't know. Is that silly? No, it's not. In fact, you'd be perfect for it. You're That's the most crazy. charming person I know. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. I'm really glad we're friends. Me too. Any day, bro. know that I like women too. I like that you make me feel seen. What do you think will happen to our guests? What do you think will happen to them? Who? Oh, sorry, my mind wanders sometimes. I meant Paul, Anne, and Marcella. Do you think they'll be released? Yeah, I think so. Paul will probably become a famed photographer. His portrait of you will be hanged at the Louvre, entitled The Inconspicuous Maid. It will sell for millions. That would actually be a dope, like, picture. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah. And Anne and Marcella will ride into the sunset on the back of two Appaloosas, watching the over their newly acquired ranch. They'll be constantly followed by their only sheep. <laughs> They'll call him Paul, for old time's sake. <laughs> I like that. Oh, wow. I just want them to be happy. Hmm. What's gonna happen Me for too. us now, y'all? Is somebody watching us? They always do these angles where it look like somebody could be watching you. Where is Eugene? He literally got fired. He snuck out. What's gonna happen now? What? 
we didn't get to figure out who the murder was? They all got... What? That's the end? Oh man. They should have stopped there and did a part two, like another game or something. So that we, and we like, find out the murder. Lindsay Franklin, who was that? Oh, that's from Paul. I think he missed, oh, missed him, missed him. Yeah, I remember they said it was a guy. Oh, that's what they look like. Oh yeah, there's Anne, there's Marcella. Okay, baddies, period. So they're in jail. What about her son? What about Anne's son? Well, back with the abusive dad. on my oh i played for hours that was this bed we made i hope you guys enjoyed it i know i did it was really like a tv show for real like i really enjoyed it um i really wish it would have like blacked out after they were talking and then they would have said stay tuned for like a part two game and we find out who actually murdered them i guess those three murdered him but again i don't know but yes guys um yeah so that was this bed we made i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for tuning in for kai tober 31 days of terror with a sprinkle of chaos this is